Dub them ease. The Mark Weber here, and I am going to be talking about the New York Football Jets. And today, I don't really know how to do this this preview. I, I really don't because the most important question has yet to be answered: Who is going to be the quarterback of the New York Jets? Brandon Marshall really, really wants it to be his guy, not Geno Smith, but Ryan Fitzpatrick. Fitzmagic, if you if you you know, if you like to call him Fitzmagic like I do. He wants that to happen, but Ryan Fitzpatrick won't answer Brandon Marshall's text messages anymore. So I, I don't know. This, this whole standoff here, uh the Jets are saying we don't want to pay him because he's not that he's not that great. He's not as great as he performed last year. I think that's a little bit of a fluke when you look at his whole career. But and then you have Fitzpatrick over here who's saying, hey. Your other options, Geno Smith, who's terrible. You have uh, Bryce Petty, who's completely unproven, and Christian Hackenberg. And I don't believe in him either. So you guys are going to pay me. It's going to happen. I I do fully believe that Fitzpatrick will get a deal done. He will start for the New York Jets week one. He might not be there in the preseason, at least all of it, because they might need to see Geno Smith be terrible. Uh... But I think they're going to learn that they just are that one kind of piece away. Because you look at this. They got the incredible duo that is Brandon Marshall, who was, you know, what is it, 14 touchdowns last year? Eric Decker out there as well, who's been really good on the opposite side as Brandon Marshall. Now, you, you think about what the Jets were kind of missing. I think the part that they're missing is that run game. They don't have the number one solid guy who I really believe in. And then they go and they get Matt Forte. And that just blows me away because not only is he great running the football, but he's going to be great catching the football as well. And we just get the ball in the guy's hands and he is going to work incredibly hard to move forward. Maybe not in the red zone, not going to score you a ton of touchdowns, but he is going to keep the ball going. He's an incredibly great safety valve for your quarterback, and if Geno Smith is going to be your quarterback, you really need that safety valve out there. So I love all of this, of course. I also think it's important to note that, you know, Mo Wilkerson just got that deal done. That is huge because he is such an incredible uh, pass rusher out there, such an important part to this defense, which was a good defense last year. Little bit uh, kind of underloved defense. This Jets team is pretty ready to take the take the uh, AFC East from the New England Patriots, especially when you have Tom Brady not going to play for four games. The Jets can take it. I'm not going to talk too much about the actual schedule just yet. You're going to have to wait until the season predictions video, which will be coming up soon. But this team, just on this roster, they've they've got it going. They just really need, and I know I just said that Ryan Fitzpatrick is not the you know the best quarterback out there, but he's a lot better than Geno Smith. They need to get that deal done. They really do. Both sides need to somehow find a way to come together because Geno Smith is not the answer. Ryan Fitzpatrick, you're not going to play anywhere if it's not going to be the Jets. No one's going to pay you that money that you want to be paid. So these guys both just have to have to make some type of compromise to get this done. Once they do, they can take this. They can at least compete to take it from the New England Patriots. And this team, they can make a legitimate run. They had one of the best wide receivers out there in Brandon Marshall last year. Ryan Fitzpatrick was just in the middle, you know, just middle of the pack, but that's fine. That's fine when you got a great running back like Matt Forte, when you got this great defense, which was one of the best defense in taking the ball away. So many interceptions by this defense, and they can put the pressure on the quarterback. They are ready to make that run. What is their actual prediction going to be for the season record? You have to wait until the season preview. That's coming up soon. But it's going to be a good season. I can tell you guys that. So make sure you guys head over to all of our social media. It's all over there. Pretty easy to do. Follow me on Twitter at TheMarkWeber and at Most Valuable Pod for Most Valuable Podcasts. And of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share the video uh, so that way your fellow Jet fans can see my thoughts on them and they can let me know theirs as well. 
whether it's on Twitter or, of course, down in the comment section. So, most importantly, I need you guys to show your support for your team and vote for them in our prediction videos coming up. We got a survey where the teams that get the most votes, those are going to be the first videos that we release. So make sure you go and vote because unfortunately the Jets are a little bit of an underdog right now uh, in that their video came out a little bit late. So make sure you go show them a lot of love, vote early, vote often, and we'll see you guys for the next video.